comes to beaches. It's a nice shirt, King. Why, thank you. You like it? We'll get you one. Yeah, sure. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, people of all genders, and also the confused people. Welcome to another episode. Yeah. We shouldn't have said that. Today, we got the normal crew. Mr. Black Harry Potter. Mr. I Ain't Got a Nickname Melvin. And uh, I know we've been on for a little bit, but, you know, we're back again. I say that every episode, but... Keep used to it by now. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. Starting off, I know we got to talk about. Cardi B and Offset. Alakazam. Uh, comments, concerns. Why, why do you call her Alakazam? Yo, you never know her name. It's like Alakazam. What is it? Like Alakazam, car, something, something, something. Is that her stripper name? That is her I government think that's her name. Birth name. Her government name is like Alakazam, something, something, something. <laughs> that that would have been a great stripper name. That is crazy. She could have been like, I'm Alakazam. If once you drink the drink I pour for you, you won't be able to wake back up. <laughs> I'll be gone bruh, I remember that, bro. They whole overlooked the whole thing that she was date raping niggas. Yeah. They ain't robbing them, but neither here nor there. So. Wait, hold on. I got it. It's Bel Calis Marlines Alamazal. She got a drug dealer in <laughs> Alakazam. That was a horrible accent, by the way. That was a horrible accent. It was I watched terrible. How times and I feel like I'm confident. So, <laughs> the important part is the divorce, though. Like half Eddie Murphy has? <laughs> you know he signed a prenup. He dumb, but he ain't that dumb. I thought the prenup was only before, like, what you earn before you got married. Mm, he did blow up after us. Mm, he might be fucked. But he still got all that drug money, though. I yeah. did see that. Supposedly, fans were telling Quavo, like, on Twitter, like, hey, you should leave the Migos because they just dropped a new song. And they were like, yeah, bro, this ain't it. Like, you too good for them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh. Nah, take off, take off rap the best. Take off album wasn't bad. Quavo got the most heat, though. Like, he'd be, he be floating. Not I agree. The, not that, that take off rap's the best. Not that Honcho <laughs> album. The one with the little owl, the owl one. The one him, that, and, uh, him and Travis Scott shit was fire, though. Anyway, back to this divorce, though. Wow. Just so, yeah, I'm gonna walk past <laughs> that. So, here's my thing, right? Fool me once, <laughs> fool me twice. I'm like, yo, this she like, yo, she had enough. Like, yo, he cheated on you, and then was like, I can do that. I got money. I buy my bitch a million dollar, such and such. I'm good. She got money too, though. Maybe more than him at this point. Make legal money, anyway. I don't know. I don't know. He got all that uh, pre-Migos money, but Cardi kind of hot right now in these streets. But see, white people like the Migos, and white people will pay to go see them in person. Mm-hmm. I don't Can't know why. Take your kids to see Cardi. Gay white men might love Cardi B, because gay white men love ratchet black women. So I don't know. I'm lying. For some strange reason. What they was... um. I'm not all on the, in the interwebs, but they were saying, I was listening to a little um, podcast. They were talking about how well, he's on Twitch. And, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was on yeah. Twitch. He came in a room. He had, he had two feet. He had to put his other phone away. Then he hit the little uh, thriller little eyes. The fucking burner. <laughs> Yo. And I'm sure she saw it because he was recording on Twitch and forgot to end the stream. He was she just went back. <laughs> at his, she looked at his past broadcast and said, this nigga here. She had that shit sent to her on Twitter by so many people. I'm sure it probably was ridiculous. Damn. That's probably what caused it. She probably said, I'm sick of your shit. Everybody probably. know now. I mean. <laughs> they couldn't even play it off like Will and Jada. They couldn't even play it off. But I don't get why she felt like, you know, he was locked in. Like, y'all think Cardi you look that good? You know what? Her yes. dressed up? Yes. 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 That's a bad motherfucker. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nah, there was this little thing. I don't even know, like a Vanity Fair magazine or some shit like that. She was actually dressed like nice and had her hair done. I was like, damn, who the fuck is that? And like, under it said Cardi B. I said, Cardi, what? I said, the fuck is this? I like his nice little dress on. I was like, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't just tits out, ass out. It was like, damn, like you, you going to work, huh, bitch? But the real that. question is, this wop that she's supposed to have had. 
that ain't really why. <laughs> it ain't really why. <laughs> he has to just, venture out. Let me just tell you, for two seasons now, it is not a hot girl summer. For two seasons, they've been losing. First, all their little role models went to jail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> first, first, <laughs> make the stallion proof she don't read. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, she fucked up with the contract. Oh, yeah. Boy. And this, she's a college uh, student. This Muslim nigga... It was a hotel Muslim nigga was like on Facebook, like, see, I mean, you've been telling me y'all been following women that don't read. Mm. <laughs> I am not <laughs> surprised. Yo, <laughs> like a Dr. Umar type nigga. Yo, <laughs> with the kufi on. <laughs> oh, shit. Not with the kufi on. That shit is funny. So, two, two years now, it has not been a hot girl summer. No. Damn. All your role models, though. So- they got shot. She got cheated on. Yeah. That pussy ain't wet. It's, it's fucking crazy out here in these streets. I mean, to this day, I still don't really know what a hot girl summer really was, but it's just whole shit. I mean, because I don't think my niggas would have a problem with that. It was about being free. <laughs> free spirits, independent. Uh, free spirit. Those, that's been around since high school. I've been around, been around since. since. Since <laughs> the 70s. Quaaludes. That's when it's been yeah. around. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't want to take it there. I don't want to get shot. But I am reading right now that fans <laughs> fans said the Migos new song Birkin was so trash. That's the reason why Cardi B divorced offset. Niggas ain't damn. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Uh, it is quite believable. Oh, oh man. Let me get myself together. Yo. Mm. So <laughs> <clears throat> about this um since we on the topic of, of WAP and whatever and stuff da 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 so I guess money don't buy a marriage huh so he gonna have to bring something else to the table huh see it's crazy cause <laughs> in most relationships most bitches all they want is a nigga is money and dick but I'm more than just money and dick I have personality you feel me like oh, man. I love my kid I got preach king. I uh shit. I'm running out of shit. Oh like man, dick. but <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good guy. That's the best I can give you at the moment. I'm gonna figure something else out. But I'm more than just money and dick. I'm a person. <laughs> I have feelings. What you bring to the table, Melvin? <laughs> Besides money and dick. I mean, I'm pretty good at shooting. Shooting what? I have a legal firearm. I don't think that really <laughs> counts as bringing something to the table. Hey, good aim is not easy to come by. You ever been on Baltimore murder aim? All right, they got, they got automatic weapons. That don't so think that counts. Every week, we just get closer and closer <laughs> to getting these cops. I've already been put on the curve once. I am okay. <laughs> Let's not do this again. Mm. Oh, boy. Mm-mm-mm. What about I mean, you? What do you get? Oh, for me? Uh, man. Let's see. Damn. I'm sorry. I had to figure out what you, I forget uh, uh, what Lyle was going to say. Say no. <laughs> but, um, nah, um, I don't know. I just lay around and feed. I mean, girls love food, so that's all I got. That's all I got, yo. I told y'all before I got loans, but I got food, yo, for days. Do y'all got one? Have, do you ever phase one, like, the girls that were thinner and like slim thick realized they had a nice body, but they didn't know proper nutrition, so they just ate one meal a day. You ever come across that? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. That was the thing. Then they lose all their body. Yeah. Smoking that do it. The punts. Oh man, I remember takes that. The, takes the butt away. So sad. <laughs> and Melvin brings sophisticated opinions to the table. That's what he brings. There you go. Kind of. I bring security. How about that? You feel safe with you with me. Bro, all I do is lay up and, and lay up, eat, and listen. That's it. Oh, you know listen. I listen. Oh, Bitches man. You're you going to hop, go hop on the coattails. Yes, sir. Bitches love when you listen. You going to talk about your day after you got home from work? Man, <laughs> Quisha done fucking came home. Bon Quisha. She done. What she do at work? She drank all the water out. The water filter ain't changed the bottle. <laughs> I hate this bitch. I'm going to listen to the whole listen. story. Oh, you just like the last 30 seconds and regurgitate what you heard. You got to listen to the first 45 and the last 20. Yeah, don't, don't do the whole thing. That's how you about your brain. Yeah, yeah I just nod, rubber back, and like you care. 
I ain't even gonna hold you. If it's an hour long story, I check out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got me. You got me for a solid 30, 40 minutes. That's a long ass conversation. Substitute but, teachers don't even get that much respect for but, me. But yo, but once no. you hit, once you see one of these. I'm done. I'm gone. Just <laughs> 30, 40 minutes is a long time. I actually applaud you for that. You got about 10, 15 for me. Get that shit out. Yo, I, I stay and work from home. So it's like, that's all of it. I just save it all for one time. Just get out the way. I don't care about your coworker, Amir, fucking your boss trying to get this raise. I don't, I don't care. You know, shit be really crazy like that. That shit, shit really be shit. like... Yeah, so if you ever... Bruh, in the admin department of your job, I don't care where you work, it's just high school. You no, know, it's like college all over again. Like I heard, I walked by, I heard a woman say to another, another woman, like, yeah, girl, he came over, he just wanted to watch movies. I said, since you came over here for, you want to watch <laughs> movies? And then they whispered some shit and the other girls like, damn, girl, I need that. And I was just like, bruh, what the fuck? That's how you move up that corporate ladder, you feel me? Bruh. You fucking suck to you at the top. <laughs> <laughs> fucking suck your way to the top. <laughs> fucking and sucking. <laughs> fucking sucking. That shit was wild. What's the craziest thing you would do for a promotion? Me? Mm-hmm. Cuts camera. Oh shit. <laughs> it depends on how much they pay me. Uh hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Next promotion. I can get that myself. It's a promotion. He said, he said extra a month, I thought. A month or a year? Uh, fuck it. Let's make it a month just to make it juicy. Big difference. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whew. what you need, boss? The CEO hey. likes his butthole finger. Uh, no, I want I'm you good. to smell it. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not Shaq, bro. I don't be getting touched and I do nothing about it. 150K a month? No, the spots are gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Sorry. Just, just a little, but just a little, but you, know who like that, you know who wouldn't let that happen? Kobe. <laughs> He would have not let that shit slide whatsoever. You know it. He'd have popped that nigga. You know who else would have not let it happen? Ron Artest. He'd have uppercutted that nigga. Uh, who the brothers yeah. that used to fight? Ron Artest might have participated. You're not talking about Marquise? Nah, uh, yeah. shit. Dennis Rodman? No, nah, man. Dennis Rodman scares me. <laughs> oh, he might have been with like the a pretty chills guy. Dennis Robin would be like, oh, you want to put the dress on? Nah, bro. I feel like Dennis Robin would be like, I'm going to put this dress on, but I got these two bad strippers coming over. You, which one you want? Yeah. Like, Dennis, the crazy friend that do coke would be like, whoa, whoa, bro. You said I'm you like, only drink it tonight. I got this. <laughs> do a little bit more. I got you, bro. It was Ben Wallace and his brother. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they was wilding. Oh. Him and Rasheed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, does... This is why I don't care, but does Dennis Rodman have to, like, you give him a back shot, so you have to pull his dress up? And then, like, the thing's kind of fluffy, you know? It's kind of hard to hold your shirt up as it is, but the dress is, like... You ever fuck with a robe on? No, I'm not. not I'm not at that point in my life yet. See, but Dennis Rodman, Ooh. I don't know. You gotta... Ooh. I feel like the better question is, what's the girl's... get a robe just, now. The better question is, well, why was the women letting him hit them with dresses on? Like, money just blinded all of that? Just all of I mean, that. It's like Prince. I honestly think a lot of women really like that shit. Bitches love niggas in dresses. Look at Young Thug. Look at Prince. Look oh, at man. Dennis. No, man. <laughs> Bitches love dresses. They know me like nine times out of ten bisexual, so they get the best of both worlds. Mm, yeah, eh, I guess. Mm, yeah. Maybe. Or vicarious, not full. That's a little... Uh... You gotta be gender sensitive here, remember? No, I'm I'm boys be watching. Sorry, queer. <laughs> They're queer. There we go. But um, I mean, I feel like that behavior is a little toxic. No, could be a little toxic behavior. I mean, I I ain't gonna be that guy because I still want to, you know, get married maybe one of these years whenever somebody uh takes me seriously. But that, I feel like as time has been going on, this little these little toxic little traits are starting to come to show. This little hot girl summer free spirit. <clears throat> I can do it myself, but I need some help. This is getting a little. Uh, I feel like you kind of. I feel like it's a little toxic behavior. Some women's kind of ruined it for the uh, greater good. And I don't know how you feel about that. But what makes you really toxic, though? What characteristics or traits considered to make somebody toxic? Self destruction, and then wanting to bring everybody else down or blame somebody else. It's not really self destruction or bringing somebody else down. You just 
going with the flow. You rocking. What makes someone toxic? Top number one thing is how you know someone you with is toxic. If you say, hey, I'm going to start going to the gym for this so we can eat and clean and they, they got a problem with it, they're toxic. Cut them out of your life. It's that simple. If someone literally could look at you and be like, hey, I know you want to take care of yourself, but I got a problem with <laughs> yeah. it. There is no, no, it's over. Cut them I off. Need, I need you here. Oh, you're getting a little fat. Figure out how to work out here and talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> but I like you thick, though. The ass, I don't want that ass to go, baby. You got to eat more. That. It won't go anywhere. Come on. Yeah. Or or for me, oh man, I wish I had some more money. Oh, you about to go to work? Nah, this unemployment check, cool. Like, no ambition, nothing. Now nah, you got money for both of us. Oh, oh, wait, bitch, wait a minute, wait a minute, bitch. <laughs> money first, you second. Don't, 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 don't get like, twisted. You don't want to do nothing for yourself, like anything. They go back to the why. I don't cook. I don't clean. I mean. We could share. Like, you ain't got to cook every night, but goddamn. She also was bringing money to the table, though. She can do that. You can't do that, bitch. All you can make is fucking Alfredo. Fuck out of here. Alfredo, and you don't even put no uh, spinach in it. Bitch, so your grilled cheese got one slice of cheese. Fuck out of here. <laughs> straight grab the can. <laughs> I'm not trying like, to Here you go. Shit. Would you date a girl that can dress? Uh... Jean Scorps, nigga. Hold crispy, on, wait. Crispy. Is that the only parameter? She just wear jean skirts. Like she can look. She she pretty. Right, you gotta you gotta walk me through this. On the one to ten, what is she? Hey, real quick side note. Did y'all know Fabulous can't dress for shit? Oh boy. What you we, mean? He be dripping. <laughs> can we share a screen? Because <laughs> this whole thing can turn into a real session right now if you want to. Nah, another day. <laughs> Jersey Fab, what do you mean? Another day. Did he did he fall behind? Like, the fuck happened? <laughs> what happened to him? Can you tell you I can end your whole career right now? <laughs> nah, another day. Okay. Okay. So, like, he's got, like, one out of – two out of every ten outfits, he's cool. But the, the ones that's not mm, – it's like getting an F. You get two A's and you get five F's. Most of, well, IG don't be looking that bad. I don't know what you're looking at. Twitter, Twitter will expose you. Oh uh, well, yeah, I, I ain't really, I ain't really <laughs> going to Twitter day. like that. Yo, we could delve down uh, that Twitter thing for just, days. I'm just scrolling and flaming them right now. It's oh, horrible. Oh my god! But yeah, you got a jersey on. I'll show you later. But let's <laughs> let's say, so let's say she wears, she wears jean skorts, and she be yeah. going to. Fullman Mills getting like the shirts with like the Bugs Bunny with the graffiti on it and the uh, Tweety Bear shit, thinking that's cute. But she's beautiful she? with a with a beautiful body. How she's, old is she? She's she 30, ten. She's thirty two. Yeah, she's straight up ten. But she's a grown ass woman, and she's an RN. She's a nurse. So mm. <laughs> you gotta. She want. She don't want to go out to eat places nice. She want to go to like Fridays and just wear that outfit every week. Does she, eat, does she eat clean? Does she take care of herself? Yeah, her body's phenomenal and her face is beautiful. I can do it. I, can, <laughs> I won't be happy, but I can do it. I can't bring her around my family, bro. They are going to roast the fuck out of us, and it's just going to be awkward. <laughs> no, you just got to go. Gotta, go ahead. No, I was going to say, you just got to cry in the car, yo. Just cry in the car. Be like, ha-ha, y'all funny. <laughs> Is this stuff right? Ball in the car? No, what they're going to do is get you an outfit like hers. And then you open <laughs> oh it my for your birthday in front of her. She'll be, yeah, go put it on. They're going to get you the five XGs. Yo. They're going to give, give you, remember the old Bugs Bunny graffiti little shirts they used to make in um, East Point? That's what I'm talking <laughs> they about. They're going to buy you one of those. That's what I'm, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Put King, put King spray paint on it and graffiti. Bro, I could do that. I, 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 I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. I, I don't know, man. We, I might, I might, I might, I can do it. I can do Give it. Give me a five who can dress before I take that shit. I'm not doing it. Damn, is that bad? I'm not walking out the house with you looking like that, bitch. I'm not what doing it. What if y'all live in Texas? It's cool. You can slide. You can get away with that. I know better. No. <laughs> bro, it's fine. She look good, bro. And she eats clean, bro. I know y'all saw in Texas. Maybe she don't look good though. Like he just said, she look good. I just said she's a ten. But the way she she's a 10. come off, she can't mm. look good if you got on a big ass fucking ten X and fucking. If she took a picture of her bra panties and put it on Instagram, she'd be a ten to everybody. 
Yeah. Oh, you, oh, so say something different. <laughs> I, mean, I like that. That's different. Bruh, just let her wear the jean skirts, yo. It's not you, yo. You get to go home to that. When she comes around my family, she's going to off herself. They're going to fucking roast the shit out of her. She's going to become depressed. That's going to be bad for me. I can't do you it. You just rub her back, bro, and tell her that that jean skirt look cool, bro. Then y'all niggas going to roast me. Yeah, yeah, come around y'all. Come on, burn your dumb ass up, boy. She was going to destroy you. I but can't come around you. I'm going to her. roast you. I'm going to give it to you until she cry. I think she got the fake Timberlands on. Oh, my God. She got the oh lugs on. <laughs> <laughs> so many people used to have so many fake belts. It was really cringy. Fake belts, fake Pradas. I ain't going to Colorful say. bracelets. Oh, yeah. man. I'm not doing it. That shit is so funny. Taps coat. They had a picture of a nigga on murder on the murder ink page. He was snatching purses. I think I sent it to y'all. He was snatching purses, but had on a uh, a Louis V belt. And somebody in the comments like he got that shit from Tapsco, broke ass nigga. Damn. <laughs> but they got him off on camera, sn- literally snatching the person running. Like <laughs> he like a cartoon character when the wheels is about to start spinning on his feet. He was getting fucking loose. That's crazy though. I always, you know what? When you be walking around, girls be holding them shits as loose. I always think that in my head. Like, why some nigga just grab that shit and just go? What you gonna do? You got everything in there. Money. Including the gun you wanna shoot with. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, damn. Y'all purse is expensive. To be honest with you, if a nigga really wanna start snatching purses in the bottom one, he can make some good. Allegedly. Especially the real person, you saw snatch them, reselling them, or real fast some person. contents. Somebody that really know how to get loose and jump, jump, uh, jump case and shit. Yeah. But when they catch him, it's not gonna be pretty. No, it's not. No. It's not at all. They, he, you're gonna find. They, sorry, when they catch him, he's gonna be in the harbor, turned over. <laughs> yes. He's gonna be on World Star for all his left hooks, though. He's gonna be famous. They, yeah. They're gonna beat him. And then they gonna beat him, and they probably gonna beat him and just take his clothes and just th- toss it in the harbor and stomp him out again. I'm curb stomp probably. That's yeah, really bad. nigga might, and then depending on how many purses he snatched, he might call it out like, "Yo, that's the nigga who snatched your purses." Oh, he snatched my girl purse. Oh, he snatched my girl purse too. Stomp, stomp. <laughs> Did you um? Stomp. It was a video, right? The dude was driving down the street. Yo, was cruising. He was like, "Oh, dad, they beating his ass." He was like, "What?" He was like, and he heard he heard him say like, "Oh, you try to run up on a um, little girl." He said, "Oh, you try to run up on a little girl." Hit up, nigga hopped out the car and got some hits. He said, "Can I get something?" He said, "Yeah." Nigga beat his ass, got back in the car, and dipped off. Yeah, it drove up. I was like, "Damn, nigga, come down the street." Hey, yo, that nigga snatched the purse. Oh, he snatched your purses, bitch, bitch. bitch. All right, I'm out. You know we got way off. We was definitely talking about what makes somebody toxic. No. Oh. And I'm saying, look at them, how many people they pulled out of the Baltimore Harbor. All right. Actually, that is quite interesting. <laughs> One nigga that we went to work with got pulled out of the harbor. He came there, and he was trying to sell weed. And he was from, like, Jersey or something. And Mike was friends with him. Like, you need to let him know that he doesn't know. Like, he's not from here. Why would you come here <laughs> and sell drugs? Like, he was selling pounds. And then, like, two months later, I was like, Mike, you know they pulled him out of the harbor, right? And he had no idea. And he just didn't know what to say. Yo, like, niggas diary day B. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know who that is, though. <laughs> I'm going to fucking jail. Going to put fucking... rocks in his pocket and just throw them in the harbor. All a legend. Uh, All a legend. Oh, of course it's a legend. a legend, nigga. This is on 545. Hey, right, uh, what time is it? Man, I'm about to... <laughs> this is not illegal. We just... Because we know the guy. Yo, people get shot every day, B. We had class well. I ain't had close with a nigga. Oh, I did. Then he just turned up missing. Shit was wild. Morgan Thank State low-key dangerous as fuck. I mean, we made it. Barely. Yeah. But we made it. Continue, Black Harry. What are we talking about? This we talking about toxic people. Niggas went on a whole oh, tangent. Like, sorry. Yeah, niggas got shot, yo. Yeah, we used to sell bricks around the corner off Greenmount. Like... So, I, like I do you. know a good segue. We can talk about Toxic and the girl that basically said she was taking care of nigg- multiple niggas. How the oh, niggas are you talking about the um the little Atlanta interview, right? First, I wish I had a hat on so I could tip my hat off to her because she a real one. I have never heard that a day in my life. If I might have to move to Atlanta for that because if women out there doing it like that, then all I gotta do is come home and I'm and I gotta step up by not cheating. Whew. 
She yeah, tell me about the story. I didn't hear the story. Oh, yeah, yeah so, start from point A and drag right. you the fuck along. She was from oh. Illinois and then she moved to Atlanta. But yeah, still, yeah, yeah, okay. So, the so girl, she's from she's Chirac? Like, she's, no. Oh, uh, well, continue. <laughs> so they was on a podcast, so the girl was talking about, well, she's a stripper now, by the way, it's Atlanta. So she was saying that how she was raised or whatever, she was raised to, like, support the dude because, you know, her mother, people's da 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 So she said when she first moved to Atlanta, she used to take care of niggas. And it'd be the niggas in the club, like, popping bottles, spending all this money, like, oh, yeah, I got cash, I got this car stuff. She was like, no, they're in my car. That haircut is my haircut that I paid for. That food in that stomach, that's me. I'm paying rent. I'm doing that. That phone and everything, I pay for everything. And she did her job applications. But here, filling out job applications for them. But here's the kicker, right? The other niggas that was in the interview are niggas who actually, like, do stuff in Atlanta. Like, they actually support themselves. So they looked at her like, you what? He's like, nah. They was like, nah. Like, my girl moved in with me. I was helping her out. Not saying that I have to do everything for her, but I'm taking care of her. She was like, nah, I had a bunch of niggas straight moving with me. They don't got no home. They ain't got no car. I let them use my car. I do this at a third. They call, I call them like, hey, you need me to take you here, da, 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 all that. Niggas was like, what? She's like, yeah, I've been doing that for years. Before I started dancing, and, every, and all the niggas was taking that. They was like, wait. So the niggas that really got the Louis belts, the little in the winter Montclair bubbles, the little... Uh, so icy chains and all that shit. She's like, yeah, I bought, I be buying them niggas stuff, and they move in with me. And niggas was like, yeah, she looked nice. Yeah, she was pretty as hell. What the fuck she get out of this? Besides <laughs> dick. Dick. Yeah. <laughs> you know but, what? We talk about these men, but she knew what they knew. They're worth. <laughs> <laughs> they, knew, they knew who they were. Yo, they, are, kid. they are the young kings. We are the fools. <laughs> Young uh, kids. Is this bitch still hiring? Nah, she nah she she not on that no more. She a, she a stripper now. She just take care of herself. Yeah. But she like nah like when she first moved to Atlanta that was her thing like and it's not even like she was just she was saying like she didn't even just look for that. That's just how it's set up because she just thought like let me help you out. She said she was filling out job applications. Yeah. How you got oh. a girl that cook clean fuck you suck you. Give you food, give you money, let her use your car, and fill out job applications, and, and you they, still fuck up. And they still cheat. Toxic. That's uh, what's um, damn, I forgot uh, I forgot uh, what's his name's real name? What's it? What's uh, what's Offset's real name? Um, it's not Kershink. It's not Kershink, is it? No, that's um, is it Kershink? I thought it was like Tredavious or some shit like that. Yeah, it is. It is that one. So that's that's that mentality in his head. He like. Oh, she she do this. She bringing money. Mm, I'm good. I was so like, real toxic shit would be if like she did this and all the niggas knew about each other and she's like, you know, you can't leave me, baby. I got you. Like the fucking flavor of love type shit. Oh, I mean, <laughs> niggas still winning. They but are kind of. I had two things for that. So my homeboy moved to Texas, mm-hmm. and he said he would try to talk to girls, and they pretty much would be pretty and thick, and they would. She said. He said they would be like, yeah, it's hard finding a good guy. Like, I'd just be trying to cook and, like, stay in. But all they want to do is go out and pop bottles. Like, they don't want to stay in the house with me while I can cook for them. And he was just like, nigga, what? And I would say to him, like, bro, do you have any idea the wave of niggas from up north would migrate to the south if they knew this was a thing? Do you? And he was laughing. I'm like, nigga, no, all real shit, it would be horrible. Like, planes on southwest would be full of niggas from New York and Philly and Baltimore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Southwest is a little pricey. Okay, spirit. Spirit. Well, there you go. You well, get shanked on the spirit spot. I, I mean, know. niggas would just Fly. get in the cars and just migrate. Yeah, for yeah, real though. Go. But that's crazy. That's I mean, and when we went to um Texas, it was really nice, hospitable. Everybody was like hella was, nice and chill. Everyone was nice, but what did it for me was that I saw a nigga <laughs> in like a Fubu shirt with like that was like three X with like shacks on. Talked to a girl who was like a solid eight. I was like, wow. Because he got something under that FUBU shirt. I mean, that was every nigga. That was the <laughs> thing. I was like, wow, they don't care about none of that here. I kind of like that. Yeah, but, that was the only wild thing. When we went to um, we went to a little sports bar to go eat and stuff and everything, no pat down. I was just like, was yo, no niggas could have. Like I was like, yo, we all could have had a gun. Niggas, yo, niggas had the car driving through people and stuff. People just spread way and everything. Niggas stopped the car in the middle of the front. Niggas didn't even tell us to move. It's because yeah. everyone has a gun, so everyone thinks twice. That shit, wow. 
Niggas really could have went in there and shot up the place. And I mean, won. I guess they really, they think because everyone has a gun, if you start shooting off, if someone in the club can shoot you way before security can get to you, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I just saw... Oh, man. Here we go. Here comes the dark part. Here comes the dark part of the night. I just saw the nigga I tried to defend on Twitter via uh, Melvin and um, you see them coming? I'm disappointed. I might have to bleep out me saying he be driven after that picture. Leave <laughs> <laughs> that in there. Yeah. That Ooh, shit that. is bad. That shit is horrible. Um, this nigga says strawberry kiwi got on green pants, a green shirt, and a red jacket, and it looks fucking horrible. That's not even green. That's like neon green slash yellow. It's it's bad. Yo, ever um, since he had to run in with that with that woman, he ain't been the same, yo. It's more in the comments too. Oh man, yo, this, this is bad. It's Our horrible. Producer is going to take care of this. Yo, it is so bad. Oh shit. Oh man. But on a lighter news though, Jesus Christ. Did you see that? Uh, since uh, since big big Braun is in the uh, bubble, low Braun, low Braun got the herbs. I'm sorry, Chris. You hear King? <laughs> no, I hear him. It's bad. It's, it's so bad. I hear him. Fuck. I know when JJ edited this video, I want him to zoom right on King's face <laughs> in the disappointment. He just lost his hair, bro. Yo, you gotta follow. <laughs> so bad. Yo, over there, like, damn. Dang. It, one thing, last thing I'll say is his music don't match up with his outfits. His music's way better. Yeah. Um, Sometimes yeah. she's saving grace. He needs to shoot that fucking outfit up. <laughs> She needs to what, go. what were you saying, Chris? I was saying that since Braun Braun in the bubble, Lil, uh, Lil Braun been uh, practicing with the herb. That heavenly flower, you feel me? Oh, yeah, you talking about he was riding around smoking in the car? Uh, that fucking gas. I don't know if he was riding around, but they got him. He got locked up? No, nah, no, no. He's he a Somebody recorded him. Yeah, he's uh, an athlete. I mean, wait, what? He's an athlete. LeBron James' son, dumbass. Book, yes. So Bronny, he got, did he get cut? And, um, I forgot his other son name. They both play basketball. Did they get cut from a team or something? They might nah, cut LeBron not. James' son. They'd be stupid. They'd be, well, yeah, they'd be stupid, but we're going to have to wait until like another week, week or two <clears throat> to see how that, uh, how that ass whip it is. I think the funniest thing is the memes, though. They got the one with um. They got the one with LeBron do the little clap, and they said him get ready to beat <laughs> Brody ass. Did you see the one where he was playing the harmonica? <laughs> like, that's your ass. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it? How old is the son? Six, like sixteen. Sixteen. I mean, that's normal. It is normal, and they probably in LA where it's pretty much legal at this point. Yeah, like he probably didn't even have to put forth that much effort to even get it. Oh. True, but he's in and it was probably good shit. It wasn't even mid, like we had to start with. He's a student athlete. So were we. And he's trying to get in uh to college. So were we. <laughs> so athlete, college athletes can I'm about to go play so lacrosse in college. That's the, actually yes, I was. Okay, never mind. Never mind. What did you say, Melvin? So college athletes can't can't smoke weed? They cannot. Not <laughs> at the moment. Oh. Professional athletes can. Can't yet yeah, no, they can't. No, kind of athletes can. They took THC off the drug test list. When? Because Tyreek Evans still, uh, Tyreek Evans still out the league for it. That's why in the NFL they did it. That's why Josh Gordon can play now. And in the NBA they did it in the bubble. Oh, and the MLB, okay. I believe they did too. Baseball okay. don't care about shit but steroids. You could you could do coke off strippers titties in baseball and then not give a okay, fuck. Okay, because I was about to say Tyreek Evans is definitely out, and I don't think. I mean, I, at this point, I don't think OJ Mayo's ever coming back, but. OJ Mayo, because I was because it's crazy because Tyreek Evans got Tyreek Evans got uh suspended, but they caught D'Lo with weed in his bottle on that going on a plane, and he still played this season. Yeah, because they took it off the list. But Tyreek, if you got caught before saying, now, they, then you're fucked. Yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying. But before the season started, Tyreek Evans still is still on suspension. They ain't put him back, but they let D'Lo play before this season started. So Tyreek Evans, they just didn't. I guess they didn't reverse Tyreek Evans. It's like the jail shit. Like, weed is legal to a certain extent, but if you locked up already, you locked up. 
<laughs> so what you saying is I need to get a Twitter and start spamming up, uh, start spamming up the NBA like, yo, put Tyree Evans back in the league. Free my nigga Tyreek Evans. Free my man Tyreek Evans, yo. Hold up. Oh, shit. I meant that's what I meant to tell you about. Oh, dear God. He found something. Supposedly there was some oh, athlete wow. that flew out this girl. She was ugly as fuck. And niggas was like, no way. Oh, uh, Odell Beckham. Oh, man. You talking it's about the one that asked, he asked the shit on him? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're going to tell me that one. What's going on? Y'all ain't fine. see that interview with the bitches and they was talking like, yeah, I went to Odell house and he asked me to shit on him. And we was fucking and all this other shit. No, no. There's a whole interview. It's on Twitter. What is with the scat play, bro? I don't know. He, I don't. I, I, I can't answer it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Shit is the hottest thing in these streets, I guess. But ninety-eight degrees, baby. Oh, that was just. Oh, that was just <laughs> taking losses. <laughs> just, uh, oh, that was just taking so losses. disgusting. So apparently, her name is Slim Dangler. She's. <laughs> Scary, she, looks like, she looks like Slim Slim Danger. Oh, okay. She looks like she's straight out of Dundalk. Oh, and she, man. Supposedly, Odell flew her out. She's not. And they would just, no, a, bl- a bunch of black women would just flame with her because they're like, yo, this is what y'all like. Y'all be having all these women available. This is what you want. I ain't going to lie, though. Niggas in the league, you be picking, like, it's like, bro, you got all these choices. That's the one you want, fam. That's the one. Take a look at the shitty bitch. I don't know if she did it, but take a look at the skitty bitch. It was like three bitches on a podcast interview. Oh, and they were just talking about how they be sucking and fucking niggas. It was the same bitch that talked about fucking, uh, what's your man's from the Suns? Yeah, so. uh, Devin, Devin Booker. Booker. Same bitch. It well, was. Same. That wasn't just Devin Booker. That was the whole Suns starting five. I'm sorry. The whole starting five. Yeah. That's why, <laughs> that's why the uh, Phoenix, the bubble Phoenix Suns was real. It's the same woman. Really? Mm-hmm. If not that same exact woman, it's the same one of those women in the crew. Oh, I think okay. it's like three or four of them. They they fuck as a pack. I don't clearly I don't know. clearly if you're going for the whole starting five. They work together. Well, she did it by herself because she's a trooper. But her friends, <laughs> her friends Yo. work off to the side. I guess they each got a sport. One do basketball. One do football. One do fucking Who baseball. Doing soccer? Because, tennis. I don't fucking know. Nice. Soccer. Maybe soccer. Soccer niggas make good money. They finesse the niggas. Baseball. Damn, I forgot baseball. Baseball, that's money right there. Yeah, baseball money. One of them, one of them is probably a baseball bitch. Baseball is the one sport people actually should try to focus on and try to make it. Cause all you need is to get that ink on the paper and you're good. Man, mm-hmm. if you make it to the minor leagues, you set. Yeah, for real, no. They work so they don't work hard at all. I feel like baseball niggas do not work hard. Probably get flamed in the comments, but y'all don't do shit. Y'all just hit a little. Well, it's hard to hit the ball. I'll give you that. Yeah, playing in the minor leagues can't be that fucking hard. I don't know about that. I mean, uh, it's professional baseball, so you're getting paid all that money for something. Well, I ain't going to say it'd be that hard. It can't be that hard to make it compared to the MLB. There's so many people, so I don't know. I don't know. It's like but- football. It's like 52-man roster. Baseball is God knows how many fucking people. I ain't a baseball guy. Plus, baseball attracts all races. It does. Okay. Everybody's got shot. Not just a fast black guy. <laughs> Everybody. The Dominicans be with the shits. Yeah. Yeah, they don't fuck around. That's because they knock people out a lot, so they got strong forearms. It makes sense. Yeah. Well, yes. they be batters, though. They don't really be. I don't know. I'm talking about baseball. I don't know shit, so they're going to flame me in the comments. I mean, it's like the worst basketball player is still, still above average player, even though he looked bad in a game. Still made the made it to the league somehow. I don't think people who don't play sports or never have have even the slightest clue they wouldn't even make a B conference high school football team because they're that out of shape. Like I think they have no idea mm-hmm. how in oh, shape fucking clue. how in shape people are to play professional sports. They don't niggas can even survive a high school B conference football practice. The practice, mm-hmm. not even the game. Not even the game. Just doing suicides. They were like, yo, this shit is hard. Go outside <laughs> in the cold and go play and go play do practice. And then if you can finish that, you might be able to play a a play in a game. AAU maybe. Because <laughs> coach gonna make you run till he get tired. And it's usually a fat ass coach who ain't doing no running. They make you do all the running. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. The crazy thing, though, someone told me that, like, if you're someone that plays sports, what was it? If you're someone that, like, plays sports, like, damn, I lost my train of thought. Fucking drugs. I guess so. (laughs) I guess so. I think I was explaining to them, like, how people who don't who don't work out have no idea how in danger they are by somebody that does work out and then they get in a fight with them like they don't realize that person beat. that person can literally fucking kill you with their bare hands you have no idea oh yeah and they got stamina yeah like you have mm. no idea and why you just run and do shit at least once or twice a week but pandemic hit so yeah just got lazy Good point. I mean, got a little dark, though, but... Have you realized as you get older, niggas don't work out? Like, you just looking around like, wow, niggas really don't work out at all. You don't Nothing. be having time to drive. I mean, I work out because I'm here. I mean, I will go to the gym, too, but I'm pretty sure a wife, two little assholes, you know what I mean? Hey, can you take me here? All right. Hey, can you go get this? All right. By the time you get your hour of the week, you like, man, fuck this. Fuck y'all. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, if I have kids, I'm definitely just going to be doing chill shit in the backyard. Pull up bar in a dip bar. Now, but now you weird, dad. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I should make them uncomfortable and get them big jeans with the shoestring belt and Tim's. Like, yeah. Are you going to dress them in a Tweety Bird shirt? Yeah. <laughs> get, no. No Tweety Bird. None of that. No. Sylvester? No. You know, you, you never went down to Lake Montebello and work with the jail niggas. That's how they be dressing. I run past them because I'm not with that shit. Those they are my niggas. Kill me. Chris, tell them they're good people. They yeah. is good people, but I'm not running with them. I'm not keeping up with them. They don't run. They just they don't do cardio. They just lift. No I'm cardio. sorry. I'm not doing pull-ups, 70,000 pull-ups with them on the fucking monkey bars. Got to hop on the bar. I'm not doing it. I'm right. They don't even do full extension. They don't. They just be like, like, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. When I was out there one time, this is the worst shit I've ever heard in my life. These niggas probably like 35, 40. He was like, yeah, yo, my son talk about some motherfucking school shit. I said, yo, stop talking about that dumb ass shit. I don't care about that school shit, yo. And his homeboy was like, yeah, yo, tell that nigga a nerd ass, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm standing with my, my Morgan State shirt on, like, damn, I'm a lame nigga. I'm in college. That God. shit. The crazy thing is be out there 23 hours a day, bro. You all day. Right. Nah, the, all crazy, day. the crazy thing is, though, is, like, the child in that thing, like, imagine they doing homework. Yo, what you doing, little nigga? <laughs> you dumbass. Like, like, they telling you that shit dumb. You're doing school I'm work. just trying to do my math work, dad. Nigga. You're trying to better himself. <laughs> he be like, yo, put that shit down, man. What you trying to get smart, nigga? Pretty much. Like, yeah. that. <laughs> When you get older, yo, son, can you loan me some money? Nah, nigga, but you broke. I be doing that all the time. Nah, dad, figure it out. Remember, I'm trying to further his education and better himself. Yo, weak as fuck. Yo, put them books up. Yo, we going to the lake again. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yo, make it to the league, yo. I don't want to play football. Yo, you making it to the league, yo. (laughs) But I can't read, dad. Yeah, that's sad. They need to like put some hours on the lake because sun up, they the sun down, they the like, I don't know how you just do pull ups for 23 hours a day. The, the craziest thing is that because of COVID, that's like the actual like Towson uh, movies, little whatever, little harbor and all that. I mean, people still going down the harbor, but that's like the little spot. It's just going to the lake, going walk. Everybody exercise now. I'm sorry, everybody sits around. No one exercises. I remember the little um the little thing up White Marsh, the little trails and stuff. People be back there with um they was walking through with their little child on a trike and stuff. I'm like, you got your little child on a little trike going up these damn hills. Y'all know y'all don't belong back here. Homie got his stuff <laughs> stuck in the mud. Your father was like, Yeah, so you're gonna work that out. I told you not to take it back here. Like, come on, yo. Niggas be sitting around, sitting around the little uh the little track, chilling. Like, all right, man, you can't do this somewhere else. Can't hang out you know, in the parking lot, nothing else. All right, no problem. You got it, boss. I mean, after a certain time, that's when the bunny man comes out there anyway, and all hell just breaks loose. I feel like the the bunny man, it's been like a bunny man story for like 20, 30 years now. That nigga has to be dead. 
I feel like they just keep evolving and keep growing. Like when one dies, the next one steps up, like Batman. <laughs> yeah, it's like wearing a fucking mantle, <laughs> fucking stupid. I really feel like the Bunny Man's gone. Like the Bunny, where is? And if he's not dead, he's too old. Like who are you gonna catch? Yo, it's, it's like Batman, walk. bro. He just passed it on. He passed on the helmet and the rape to other niggas. I don't know, man. I mean, it's like it's if he passed it on to a younger person. This is like a little computer age of TikTok. I'm pretty sure we would have They could be doing TikTok. Buddy man, TikTok. I'm coming to get kids. Like, what are you doing? I don't. <laughs> Yo, I feel if you typed in Buddy Man on TikTok, something would happen. I'm good on that. I mean, you probably shouldn't, but I feel I'm like if that. you did, if you were so to happen, type in Buddy Man. It's gonna be some um some Arctic Fox type people. I'm good on that. Everybody watching, type in Buddy Man on TikTok and send us what you find. Send Tim what you find. Black Harry Potter. I'm blocking everybody. Melvin wants to see Tim. He'll I'm probably actually watch everything. I'll probably watch start. every work. You'll probably watch every Bunny Man video that somebody finds on the internet. No, I'm going to. Nah. You will get blocked. Big blocks. <laughs> You'll get blocked so much, I'm going to say harassment. <laughs> I want some legal action taken. Don't play no, you no damn Bunny Man. For those who don't know the Bunny Man, Bunny Man is a a myth. Can I call it a myth? I'll, maybe a myth. Might not be a myth, but a guy who's dressed in a bunny suit or butt naked, depending on what side of the city you're from, eh. goes around the lake or uh, what was it? Um, Drew Hill and just rapes kids and people. My homeboy was walking New Drew Hill, and he said some dude rode up to him. It's like 2 in the morning. So when you wrote up and say, hey, young man, you need a ride? You want to go for a little ride? He's like, nah, I'm good. Could have been the bunny man. It could have been. He's trying to get his man cheeks. I'm good on that. Big I'm, good on that. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm big, big good on that. I remember, you remember when we were at the City of God thing and then old white dude came up to Curtis and was like, oh, you just my type. Look at you. <laughs> and everybody was like, oh, come on, bro. Ugh. We're not homophobic, bro. You got to chill. Like, can't, can't just be... It's a little aggressive. That was real aggressive. It was a bunch of hood niggas around. I'm like, yo, this man's about to die. Mother witness this shit, and I really You're don't want it off with some ass cheeks, bro. Hey, booty yo, is more booty, important than booty, water. Booty is more important than water. <laughs> yo, said it. I'm good on that. That's like that. Um, what's the bench? I forgot. It's not bench. The it's a uh, Rob. Is it Rob Schneider, the nigga from uh, Deuce Bigelow? The European gigolo? Yeah, he got a movie. He got a jail movie. Oh, my God. I'm going to figure it out by the next show. It's a jail movie where he went to jail. And your head on that, he was, um, he, like, made himself unrapable because he had a bunch of stories, right, and everything. The dude from the him. Adam Sandler movies, right? I forget his name, too. Yeah, bro. Oh, he, he, I have seen that shit. He, he sat them all down. He said, all right, we're going to make some rules. Rule number <laughs> one, no more rape. Everybody was like, oh, what the fuck? He said, oh, come on, man. He said we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> Nigga really said no more rape. That's it. He said they was like, what about the pedophiles? He said, okay, the pedophiles. He's like, ah, oh, no, I gotta. Everybody gotta go cold turkey. He was like, man, it's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what movie is this? It's a um, it's like it's like um, some ah, oh, damn, I gotta think of it. It's like some jailable, something like that. I think I seen that shit. He went to he he learned his made himself unrapeable in jail and everything. I think he went to jail for something extremely Big Stan. Too. Big Stan? Is it Big Stan? Uh, I, I don't like want to say yes. Somebody go look that up. Or somebody in the comments put that in there. That movie's <laughs> hilarious. Damn. That's quite funny. Rob Snyder, I think his name is. Is it? Mm. I think. Oh, shit. Just type in Adam Sandler's crew and it'll pop up. You'll see his face. Deuce Bigelow, the guy from that movie. Yeah, that shit was funny. The you can do it, as nigga. Oh man! <laughs> hey, did y'all know Pinky is losing weight? Yes. Oh, I mean, I was gonna say game. She ain't losing weight. Nah, she gained weight, but she was on a um, she was on, she's losing. I think she's losing weight or something like that. It was some, it was some random little article that came up that was like, first, I'm gonna take a second, Google, Bing, Yahoo, whatever. I don't know. How that came up? Very funny, but I'm not really sure because I would be I would be okay if you had a porn link come up. 
but not like, here are some weight loss things. Pinky. I don't know how they flipped that together and threw that out there. And it only, and it didn't even say Pinky. You, everybody should know who Pinky looks like. It just said mm-hmm. adult actress. And I was like, <laughs> I was like oh shit. I was like, she losing weight? She on a weight loss journey? I don't know why. I low-key feel like it's Instagram because I'd be like, oh, fitness stuff. Cool, cool. But they got me. You're smart. You got me on that one. And I and I may ha- I had to make sure that I ain't say it out loud too. Because I was like, oh shit, that's pink. You can't just yell that out in public. But yeah, she's on a weight loss journey. Am I the only one who thinks she like a mill tanks? She looks like what? A mill tanks, the Pokemon. What it, spell that out for me real quick. M I L T A N K. Oh boy. Look at them uh, udders. <laughs> come on, King. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna need to write this up with a bow. I think that uh I think that's um yeah, I think it's time. Call the time. Use roll out. <laughs> I think I we need to call time. Y'all know Ganty from Lilo and Snitch. Yeah. Oh, Big sharp nigga. My homeboy Brandon said his he knew the nigga looked just like that. I was dying laughing. That's so <laughs> fucked up. It's so about to turn into a roll session. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> Picky, use roll out. Oh, man. So, thank you for coming in. We appreciate all the fans, new fans, old fans, and everything. Um, yeah, it's another uh, another episode. Black Harry Potter. Uh, take it away. Take it away, oh. Chemo. I gotta take out the trash and mention <laughs> this show was brought to you by Mama Yaz Health and Wellness. You guys gotta get your shit. She definitely has it for you, but I don't know if you contact her. Melvin, you don't know her, so do, you do know her. So I'll do that for you. Links in the description. Um, yeah, that's it. We got our merch coming soon as well. Yep. What you laughing at? Go ahead, get it out. I was Start. trying to find. I was trying to find something stupid, but uh, it's a. It's just a. You ever seen Flight? When Denzel Washington was an alcoholic. Yeah. It's a video of him ch- just chugging, looking in the car, and it was like <laughs> when you when you trying to when you try to go to a club, but you ain't got no money. <laughs> so you guys get fucked up in the car. <laughs> Uh, all right. Anyway, we have our merch coming soon as well. Website coming. Um, links will be in the description. We'll update everything. Buy our stuff. Promo code probably be come out. Um, we'll figure out what that is. <laughs> Fan options for that. Make it something funny. Make it stupid. That's pretty much all I got, man. It's fun seeing you guys. We should do this more often. <sighs> this nigga. All right, we out of here. I miss you guys. Uh, here we go. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs>